Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my property in Livingston, Montana. Okay, this is not a fix-it video, okay? This is just some tricks and tips that I've learned on repairing my specific Sears Craftsman, that's C-R-A-P, Craftsman, riding lawnmower, okay? That's all there, tricks and tips, and may maybe you can get something out of this, I don't know. But anyway, specifically, look at here, don't get nervous. This is what we're talking about. Let me get this in focus here. Okay, this is what I've got. A Craftsman lawn tractor, it's a YS4500 with a Briggs & Stratton Intec, 24 horsepower overhead valve engine. It's a model 917, this is important, 0 0.276683. And the serial number, this is another important series of numbers, is 05. That stands for the month of May. 10, that's the 10th day of May. And 06 is 20 06. That's when this mower came off the assembly line. And, and the rest of the numbers are D00510. But then first, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or your manufacturer date number, or the date, okay? It's got a 42 inch deck. There's two 21 inch blades on this guy, okay? Okay, you might wanna, you know, use your pause function and whatnot have you, and I'll, I'll, I'm not, like I can say, I'm not gonna explain how I fix this. Almost all these parts are not, some of them aren't cinched down all the way, just simply because you know, I'm waiting for one part to come in FedEx, but all of this stuff here is new. And I'm, I'm the reason why I'm doing this video, like I say, is to hopefully help somebody that's got the same model. It's just that doggone symbol. These these B idlers, they've been replaced. This uh, flat idler's been replaced. That flat idler's been replaced. This 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 V poly's been replaced. The mandrels right there, all of that's been replaced. The spindle shafts, the bearings, the blades underneath here, all of that stuff. Pert near everything. And all I'm waiting for is just a doggone brake assembly that goes right there. My other ones wore out. And a lot of times, you can't go by what these, these, uh, the third, the second and third party manufacturers for these, uh, you know, parts and stuff, they have everything listed wrong. The descriptors are wrong. The numbers are wrong and all that. That's why I decided to, you know, do a video here. Here's all the stuff that I replaced. These are four, whole, four bolt mandrels, if you will. Here are the old ones, old blades. Same way with right here. A lot of times it's best to measure this stuff. Okay, on this V idler here, it's a little over six inches. Same with this guy right here. These are both the same size. Okay, one for right there and one for right there. Okay, these are called flat idlers. This guy is four inches lip to lip. Okay, this guy is five and three, three eighths. I know this for a fact. Okay, and this I ordered in by mistake, but it is for the drive belt underneath, for the ground drive belt for the transaxle. I replaced it along with those two belts right there. You got one belt that drives your deck assembly for your blades, and another belt there, you know, for, your, like I say, for the tractor itself, the movement of the tractor itself. I'll go over here, I'll show you. There's the mower belt. I'm getting ready to put this on. I'm just waiting for a brake assembly to come in from FedEx and I can get this thing done. But it's half inch by 100.25 inches. And the other belt that drives the tractor right there is half inch by, let's see, 92 and a half inches. And I've got a new belt underneath there. And this whole entire engine's been old, uh, tuned up oil filter, spark plugs, air filter, fuel filter, oil, all that kind of stuff. Okay, 
I don't want this video to be very long, but sometimes what I'm trying to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, is you just can't trust, you know, you, the best thing to do is pull that deck out. That's what I'm talking about, and find out what's wrong before you start ordering parts, because it is a jungle out there when it comes to parts that's got wrong numbers and wrong descriptors. This is what I'm waiting for right here. This wore out brake pad assembly. Gotta have it. Doggone thing goes right here. Let's see. That goes right there like that. Yeah, I'm waiting for that. Now, now the last little thing I'll do is jump on this. When I first started working on this a few weeks ago, this more wouldn't even run. That's no kidding either. Wouldn't even start. We'll see if she'll start now. There's a key over here. Now I realize that this is kind of a BS file, but I want to take a minute here. I didn't want to make a very long-winded file because I got just that one brake assembly coming in and I, I get that on there and I get to start mowing because my yard is 18 inches high and it's all full of weeds and it looks like ever loving you know what. But oh, I want to take a few minutes and thank all the guys that have made long-winded 40 50 one hour minute videos on how to fix these stupid lawn these riding lawn tractors these craftsmen that's spelled with a p by the way craftsmen and husqvarna's and oh man all these suckers man I, you know i tell you i i'm going to tell you something before i leave here i really believe that when it comes to household appliances, stuff that you use in a house, stuff that you use around your yard, there is a, a design, by design, by engineering design, there's a 10-year self-destruct, I am going to blow up and give you all kinds of hell factors that are built into this junk. Yeah, and we're going to pay for this, ladies and gentlemen, as a society. We live in what I call a throwaway society. They just don't build stuff anymore to last like they did back in the day. That's a fact. That's a fact. So you end up doing something like this, you know. But the point being is on these mowers, if your deck goes bad on you or whatever, or you start smoking belts or things aren't turning right or whatever, just undo the belt, just undo the deck, slide it out and find out what's wrong. And I'm hoping that you got a, a good enough picture of at least this model here. Because it's my understanding, Sears Craftsman, they made over 3,000 models. So if you're running into all, if you own a Sears Craftsman, good luck to you. That's all I've got to say. Thank you very much for watching the movie file. And let me get gone so I can wait for the UPS truck so I can get that brake assembly on here and start mowing.